Health Indicators agreed to in 2013-14 um, share on the compact that ESCOM has only achieved 57.6% of the targets. Now this is not a good performance, even in the challenging environment in which the entity operates. I note in particular the unsatisfactory performance in respect of generation plant performance and the socio-economic footprint, both of which are very concerning. At the last AGM, my predecessor urged the board to ensure that efforts to improve generation performance and reduce the level of unplanned outages were intensified. It is concerning, therefore, that even with support from my department, generation performance continues to de deteriorate. I'm mindful of the pressure of the daily balancing act of keeping the lights on and maintaining appropriate electricity generation plant health. However, we need to raise our gaze above the horizon and do something extraordinary. Growth depends on it, investor confidence depends on it, jobs depend on it. In the most recent State of the Nation address, the State President said, and I quote, we need to respond decisively to the country's energy constraints in order to create a conducive environment for growth. So I, I repeat the message, stop the decline in generation performance. Think out of the box. Do the extraordinary. The department and I will walk beside ESCOM on the spot. I note the financial performance and the profit achieved of 7 billion rand. However, as we know, this will not resolve ESCOM's long-term financial sustainability. Cost needs to be contained, particularly if the company is to achieve its business productivity plan. Let me say emphatically, I'm very concerned about the rate of the increase in costs. My ministry welcomes initiatives to mitigate and reduce the impact of ESCOM operations on the environment, like those which will address the particulate emissions <coughs> situation and improve water usage performance at the power stations. However, the department and I note with great apprehension that ESCOM's plans to undertake critical maintenance and projects at the power stations to give effect to these are greatly impacted by the constrained power system. In this regard, the department will continue to support discussions with the Department of Environmental Affairs in order to find a lasting solution to the transitional challenge of reducing ESCOM's environmental footprint and pursuing low carbon growth.